Hi, I'm Mark Donovan from HomeEditionPlus.com, and today I'm going to show you how to cope a piece of baseboard trim to make a perfect inside 90 degree corner. With a perfectly square uh, set of walls, you should be able to make two 45 degree cuts to, firm, to form a perfect 90 degree angle. However, in the real world, most corners aren't perfectly 90 degrees. In a way or method to at least appear as if the corner is perfectly square, we can basically um, nail up one piece of molding with a nice square flat edge to one wall. And then what we do is we cope the edge of the second piece of uh, baseboard trim such that we can form a perfectly square uh, 90 degree angle. So the first step in coping an end of a piece of baseboard trim is to set the saw at a 45 degree angle so we create an open face uh, 45 degree angle cut with a piece of baseboard trim. Now that I've done that, I'm going to use what we call a coping saw here to cut along this line um, at a 45 degree angle to create the coped cut. So now that I made my 45 degree open face cut, I'm taking my coping saw and cutting along the edge of the prime line and the cut surface, um, cutting at a 45 degree back angle. I'm just going to follow the length of the uh, baseboard trim again along the uh, paint line. Now just touch up the edge with a little sandpaper. So now we can butt the two pieces of baseboard trim up together. And as you can see, we have a nice square 90 degree seam using this coping method of uh, cutting baseboard trim. So that's all there is to making a perfect 90 degree inside corner. If you have other home improvement questions, visit us at homeeditionplus.com today.